Welcome back to Swindon. As you can see, we're right here trackside. I'm joined by Michael, a 12-year-old son of Peter Cronin. And uh, I think you're meant to be at school today, aren't you? I meant to be at school the whole week, but oh, we've no school Friday because of a referendum. Yeah. But I took the week off to come here to see a brilliant derby. Your dad told me that he's avoiding your mum's phone calls at the moment. Is that right? I'd say it is right because <laughs> I haven't heard about him. But you're here and this is where you like to be. You love uh, doing the dogs, don't you, yeah. rather than being at school? Yeah, it's much more fun. And uh, like a proper job, a lot of responsibility for you, but you've been doing this since you were very young. Six or seven I've been doing the dogs and I've been parading since then as well. Do you like it? Love it. Now, Whips Jack uh, came into your kennel when he was how old? About five weeks or maybe five or six weeks. And do you remember that? I don't remember him coming in because he came in and during the day while I was at school on a Friday and we came home and there was these young pups, I think there was a litter of seven or eight and he was a nice, he was one of the nicest of them and I'd say there was two or three of good ones in that litter and bred by one of our stud dogs, Jack's a gem, nice dog. And you picked him out even at that point as being a dog that you thought was really nice even at that young age? Yeah I did, I didn't really know if he was going to be fast enough but I liked the look of him. He was very nice and he was unique about the way he went, the way, whenever he galloped him, he went down to the gallop and he never come back up. So you'd have to, you'd have to bring him back up yourself. And you do a lot of galloping the dogs at home, don't you? Yeah, they gallop two or three times a week, every week. All the pups, about 30 of them, me and Ross do them. Ross is your brother? Ross is my brother, yeah. And you guys name the dogs as well? Some of them, some of the nice ones. And they're nice dogs, yeah. So what have you made of which jacket toaster? He's running very well at Toaster and he's breaking, he's breaking very well and he's pacing up very well and he's running the bends perfectly. What do you think of his semi-final? It's uh, a pretty tough heat inside another Irish dog, isn't it, Innocent yeah. Times? Yeah, it's a very tough heat, but I'd say if he breaks, he might have the early to get around Innocent Times, but Innocent Times very fast up. You're very hands-on here, handling him every day, and I know nobody knows, but of course it's three fast runs in eight days. How do you think he'll handle it? I'd say he'll handle it well, because he's a, he's a very fit dog, and he's used to a lot of exercise, because they gallop two or three times a week, and they're very fit. This is their peak in their fitness. What would it mean to your dad to win an English derby? Very hard to explain it would be and it would be a first for him and he's had about, I don't know he's had, he had about seven or seven Derby finals and he's came third, second in 2014 and 15. He came third and second. So it would mean a lot? It would mean a lot, a lot. And for you, I don't know you'd be thrilled for your dad, but would you love it if you could win it? I'd love it if you could win it because it's very good to win, to win, it's very good to win 20 grand stake let alone the derby would be one of the best things to win, if not the best thing to win. And for you, would you like to have an English derby finalist one day? Are we going to see you training here one day? Well, that all depends. I probably will be here training, but I mightn't have the capacity that my dad's got at the moment. Are you proud of your dad and what he does when he's over here? Very. Yeah, he's a great trainer. We love having Peter Cronin over here. So you're here Saturday night for the semi-finals, of course, and then presumably back to school for a week and then back for final night, hopefully? Yeah, I will be back final night if we're there. And I'll be go flying back Sunday. That's the plan, anyway. Listen, uh, I wish you guys all the best getting through to the final. You yeah. can see their final night. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, Michael, 12 years old, very, very hands-on with the dogs. And they, they know you and love you, don't they? Like you've had them from babies. Yeah. Most of the dogs we that are in the kennels, we rear them at the moment. We rear them. Down at the down the field, and they're very well reared, and they're very well fed as well, and they're big dogs when they're young, and they're really nice and playful to play with. Oh, lovely! Well, listen, great to talk to you. Thank you for talking to us, and uh, hopefully, I might talk to you Derby final night. Hopefully, hopefully, and hopefully, Whoops Jack will be there as well. <laughs>